Alright, time to begin. Welcome to session number three. The last session I was talking about the stream which is close by and this is what I was talking about. Yeah. We are here close to it today so you are going to be hearing a lot more of it in today's session. And in today's session we are going to have a lot of fun because today's programming is going to be very different from the first two sessions. I hope you guys are excited and ready for this. Now, for the warm up, we will have four movements, 30 seconds each, one round only. Okay, so let's get ready for this. I hope you guys are excited. You got a water bottle close by, and let's start off with the warm up. Now, for the warm up, movement number one is going to be the standing forward fold T spine rotation. So, we're going to focus on opening out the mid back to start. So, keep your feet slightly wider then shoulder or shoulder width is also okay now what I want you all to do is just drop down I want you to drop forward now one hand comes in so you're just blocking the knee from curving in and lift the opposite hand up we're going to keep alternating whichever hand goes up I want you to focus on trying to get that leg straight as well okay let's start this in three two and one I'm sure all of you have already seen what's up for today. It's all Tabata in today's programming. It's going to be a fun one. Now for this movement, make sure your back is straight when you drop back. And as you open out, lift the hand up as much as you can, opening out that mid spine. 30 seconds only. And that's done. From here, we're going to switch the dynamic IT band stretch. For that, we're going to cross the leg. Make sure both your feet are flat. Both the legs are straight. Drive your hips back. Reach down as much as you can and come back up. Okay? So we're going to do 30 seconds this side to make sure we open out the IT bands for the Tabata that's coming up. Let's go. Drop down slow and come back up. Reach down as much as you can. Feel that IT band. So where is the IT band? The IT band is on the outside of the hip all the way to the outside of the knee that's why you're going to feel this stretch if you want to deepen it just move towards the leg that's forward whichever side whichever leg that is if it's a right leg move towards the right a little bit more okay that's when you feel the stretch a little bit further all right now let's switch side cross the leg exit flat knee straight reach down Back up, feel that stretch. Ooh. It's nice, chilly weather as of now. So really enjoying a little cap there, nice and slow. Drive, it's very important for you to stay warm, especially when you're gonna get into your work because that's when you wanna, wanna get lengthen it because when you're cold, it takes longer to warm up. So you want to ensure you're staying as warm as you can. You can always reduce layers. And that's done. You can always reduce layers as you move forward in your exercise. All right. The next one is going to be the world's greatest stretch. For that, we need to go down to the high plank position. From there, step forward. Now, whichever leg is forward, I want you to do the same hand. It drops down and up and rotate. Okay. We'll do 15 seconds aside over here. Starting in three two and one don't try to go too fast focus on good range pause at the bottom and on top for that second just 15 seconds aside stay inside 15 seconds on the other side Make sure to open up well. Let's just get one more rep in and then we're going to change. All right. From here, we're going to switch to the standing shoulder rotation. That's going to be the last of your warm-up. Simple, old school. Just there. All the way up. Take it back as much as you can and there. So, we'll do 15 seconds this way and then 15 seconds the opposite. Okay? Let's begin. 
Nice big rotations. Make sure you're going maximum range. Okay, all the way up. Rotate and come back there. Other side. Well done. And that's done. Brilliant. Now, we shall move to our Tabata. The first one's going to be a core focused Tabata. Yeah, you're going to see me do this a lot. Because in the outdoors, you're going to have mosquitoes and ants and all of that part of the, part of the workout. Now, the first one, that's going to be hollow hold and arch extension. So, you're 20 seconds of hollow hold, 10 second break, 20 seconds arch extension. All right, that's going to be our first Tabata. Now, for the hollow hold, what I want you all to do, let me just dust this off. Now, over here, I need to slightly lift the shoulders, push your low back into the floor, leg up. This is option one, while you're there. Option two, tuck in, but try and get your elbow and knee contact. Okay, that's what I want you all to work on. So that way, you're constantly pushing the low back down, keeping the core engaged. Right? That's what we're going to be doing. All right, let's get ready. That's the first movement, that's extension. I'll show you all as we get there in the 10 second breather. That right, we're going to do eight sets of this. Right? So it's four minutes, which means eight rounds. So four rounds of each is what we will be doing. Right? Let's start this in three, two and one hollow hold first you can always start over here for your first set just to make sure you're getting good engagement and learning how to press the lower back down and then as you feel comfortable you can slowly start to open out and go there okay that's done 10 second breather and then we do the arch extension for the arch extension hands are going to be forward we're going to be lifting the hands and legs up together. Okay, let's start this in three, two, and one. Just up and hold. All I want you to do is just hold. Squeeze your glutes. Try and keep your feet close to each other. Hands fully extended. Lift your chest up. Lift the legs up. And that's done. One round done of both the exercises. Now we have three more such rounds. Let's get ready. Let's go. Keep that lower back pressed down, okay? Today's session, we are also going to talk about food. Tell you more about it when I can breathe. Ah, that's done. Let's switch. Get ready. For your arch extension, let's begin. Lift the hands and the legs up as high as you can, squeeze your glutes, stay over there. So in terms of food, what I will be speaking about is basically the intake versus the outtake, just not the weight loss or any such thing. It's basically, and let's switch. Get ready for round number three or four. So what I'm saying is basically what I'm gonna be talking about is learning to burn the calories that you take in. All right, let's go. Round number three, hollow hold. So where am I coming from is basically telling you all not to do all these fat diets and eat less. Uh, I'm, not, I'm talking about eating right. And let's switch. Arch extension, get ready. A 10 second breather is more like a setup. And let's go. Remember, squeeze the glutes. We'll talk more about this food thing in a bit. Almost there. And done. We have one last round to finish. Our first Tabata. Get ready and let's begin. A 
And these last 20 seconds always feel really long. And let's switch. It's the other side. Get ready. Ha, huh, let's go. Three, two, one, up. Squeeze the glutes. Lift the hand up nice and high. Stay there. Almost there. Good job, that's a good start. And that's done. Brilliant. That's a great start, that's our first Tabata, which is more of a core focused one. And we shall move forward from there. But before that, I'm going to tell you just a little bit about what I'm speaking. Yeah. In terms of your food, there are all these diets that are there where you restrict how much you eat, all that. I'm not telling you all go berserk and just eat everything. What I'm trying to tell you all is eat the right quantities, don't starve. But at the same time, make sure that you're moving a lot through the day and exercising enough to make sure that you're burning those calories you're taking in so you're able to achieve your goals, whatever it is. Whether it be weight loss, maintenance, weight gain, you've got to work around that part of it. Yeah? On that note, first of all, it's great to see all of you all with those photos of your beverages and you, whatever your favorite beverages is, like I speak in the last session of the coffee. On that note, now it's time for us to move forward. All right, now for this, the Tabata, which we're going to have, which we're going to start off with, is going to be hay balers. So for that, what I want you to do is, for our normal squat stance, we are we have both feet in front and slightly wider than shoulder. Now you're just going to take one leg back. Toes are going to be at 45. Not pointing out, not pointing forward. Okay, toes are about 45. From there, we're going to squat, transfer the weight to the back leg. Turn your upper body towards the back leg as you come forward. Shift the weight to the front leg and get the hand up and twist. Right. So it's rotation from the upper body. So what we're going to do is 20 seconds this way. Then we'll turn the other way, 20 seconds the other way. That totally we'll get four rounds in each side. Okay, let's get ready for this. Starting in three, two and one. Let's go. As you come up, be a little explosive. Squeeze the glutes. As you come up, remember when you go down, I want you to turn towards the back leg. When you come forward, turn towards the front leg. 20 seconds each way, and that's done. 10 second breather, and then we go the other side. Make sure you got that, 45, okay? Let's start this in three, two, and one, go. Squat, make sure you're squatting. Make sure you're squatting. Exhale as you come up, explode, work the hips, and that's done. Excellent. One down on each side done, got a sense of it. Make sure you're focusing on the range, do not compromise on the range, okay? Round number three, starting in three, two, and one, go. Drop down on the squat, turn the upper body towards, turn the upper body yeah, towards the back leg. As you come forward, turn it forward. Good show, good show, and that's done. All right, other side, get ready. Starting in three, two, and one, go. We're right now round number four of eight. Front leg, knee should be pointing forward throughout. Front leg, knee should be pointing forward throughout. Almost there, and that's done. Halfway there. Uh, we've got four more rounds to go. Two on each side. Starting in three, two, and one, go. Explode up, explode up. Make sure you're coming in with some power. Almost there, one more. And done. Let's go to the other side. That's going to be round number six. Make sure your back is straight throughout, okay? Back straight throughout. Three, two, one, go. Exhale. 
explode, explode, explode. Almost there. Done. All right. Brilliant. We have one more round on each side. We have one more round on each side. Work the core. There's a lot of core engagement happening, okay, when we're doing that rotation. Let's go. Three, two, one. Move. You're going to hear me breathing. Okay, I'm exaggerating that for good reason because I want you to really focus on exhaling. Let's get one more rep in. Let's get one more rep in. And that's done on that side. One last round on this side before we move to the next Tabata. Three, two, one, go. Explode. Explode. Get in that explosion. That's the most important. Doesn't matter which round you are in. And done. Super. That's the end of this Tabata. The next one. You grab yourself some water if you need to. The next one's going to be push-ups with a shoulder tap. Uh, that's going to be our next Tabata. We're going to try and gain as many reps as you can in each, each round. Uh, just ensure that... Just a second. Just ensure you're not compromising on range. For the push-ups, make sure you're going down all the way. And when you're coming up, tap on one side. You're going for the next push-up, tap on the other side. We've got 20 seconds. Same, Tabata, 20 seconds each round. And we've got to go eight rounds with the same movement. Yeah. Our shoulders and chest are going to be on fire. All right, let's get ready. Start this in three, two, and one. Drop your chest in between the hands. As you come up, shoulder tap. Make sure to go down all the way. Drop your hips and chest down together and come up together as well. And that's done. Round number one is done. Round number two, 10 seconds breathe and then we go right into that, okay? Get ready, three, two, one, go. I'm already slowing down. Woo! Ah, I'm gonna shake that off and get in one more rep. And that's done. Two rounds done, six more to go. You guys are looking strong. Uh, keep that going. You do as many as you can, okay? Well done. Let's go. Oh, feel that fatigue. I want you to push through it. Uh, I'm going to shake that off and come back into it. Let me try and get one more rep at least. And that's done. Three rounds done. We have five more to go. Five more to go. On track. Let's begin. Woo. My reps are getting shorter with each round. Less I meant. Ooh. And that's done. Uh, we've got four more rounds to go. Four more rounds to go. Just hang in there, guys. I feel the fatigue with you all. Yeah, because they're pushing every round. Let's go. Start now. Woo. All right. Come on, I can get two more in. Let's go. And that's done. Hey, how many rounds do we have left? Three more, okay? Three more. Hang in there. Let's push ourselves. Starting in three, two, and one. Let's move. Whew. Seven became six. Looks like that's becoming five. I hope you guys are getting in more. You guys are smashing it for sure. And that's done. Two more rounds to go. Two more rounds to go. 
I'm going to try and push myself in the last two rounds and I want you to do the same, okay? Let's go, three, two, and one. It's okay to get tired. The idea is to push through it. It's okay if your reps get lesser. It's okay if there's more struggle. That's the thing about Tabata, you know? You get only 10 seconds to give it your best shot after. Ah. And yes, that will reduce. And that's how we improve performance. And that's done. One last round. One last round. It's okay, the heart rate's really flying. That's fine. All right, three, two, and one. Last round, let's go. I just want you to focus on great technique throughout. Do not compromise on that, yeah? Almost there, I'm gonna try and get one more rep in before we finish. Aye. Ah, that was hard. The sabatas never get easy. Uh, we all know that. The sabatas never get easy. The next one, that's gonna be skater jumps. Man, I know how this is gonna feel. Uh, I'm gonna start searching for my glutes before we even start. Skater jumps are when we jump side to side and go low. The idea is to go low, get that engagement of the glutes to push you back up. And so here's how it looks. Gotta go low, yeah, back straight, opposite leg off the floor. Yeah. Don't try to go wide. If you really want to go wide, just stay end to end of the mat, but focus on dropping low and switching fast, okay? Whatever is your best pace for that round. So that's gonna be our next Tabata. Let's get ready. No time to think. Huh? Let's start this in three, two, and one. Let's go. Stay low. Idea is to drop low and explode up. Drop low, explode up. And that's done. Round number one is done. Seven more to go. This is gonna be fun for sure. I already know what's gonna happen when we reach round four. Let's go. Ooh. We're just in round two. Ah, and that's done. Ooh, six more to go. I hope you guys are feeling your glutes firing just the way I'm feeling it. Okay, round number three, let's move. Oh, ho, 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 ho. we're not done, we're not done, we're not done. I'm just shaking it off, let's go. Keep that moving. And that's done. Three rounds done. Five more to go. Saying my prayers already. Like I said, I know what's gonna happen in round number four. Let's start that. Glutes firing. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Let's go. I'm dreading this. Ooh. I'm using the stream as my music, helping me stay calm while I feel the burn. Let's go, round five. Shaking it off and let's move. Like I said earlier, that's what Tabata is all about. Yeah. It's not about doing the exact same number of reps or oh, done. Which round was that? Round five. It's not about doing the same number of reps to bring in the same power. It's about giving your best for that particular round. That's it. That's all it's all about. Let's go. Round six. Ooh. Yeah. My best keeps changing with every passing round. And that's done. Two more. Two more. 
Hang in there. My, 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 my. Let's go, round number seven. Hit the side. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I need more glutes for this. <laughs> Come along. Come along. And that's done. Land. One last round. Stream. Help me finish this. Yeah, play some nice music for me. Hi. Last one. Let's do this, guys. We got this. Let's move. Ouch. Ouch. It's the last round. Let's go. Let's go. Finish this strong. Finish this strong. Done. Done. Looking for my glutes. Ouch. That was painful. I'm going to take a few seconds to catch my breath on this one. You guys want to sip on water? Do that. Yeah? Do that. Our next one is going to be more of an upper body focus. That's going to be the pike shoulder taps. Give me a second, I need to search for my glutes. Uh, and then we'll start. Uh, well done guys, we just got This one is all shoulder focused. Yeah. I want this to be very, very controlled as you bring your hand down on the pike shoulder tap. Focus on keeping your hips lifted. Okay. Let me quickly show you what this looks like. Push the hips up, knees are soft. Focus on driving the hips up. From there, opposite side, shoulder tap. That's what we're gonna be doing for 20 seconds. Okay? Hope you guys are ready. Ready or not? Let's jump into this. Okay? Let's start this in three, two, and one. Move. 20 seconds, nice and controlled. Keep the hips pushed up. Lift the heel up if you want a little bit more activation. So that way you're putting more pressure into the shoulder. Almost there and done. Round number one done. 10 seconds. All you do is catch your breath and then we move. I'm steaming. I can see myself steaming. All right, let's go. Round two. Remember, you can push the heel up to get more activation of the shoulder, so that way you're putting more pressure on the shoulder. Okay? Done. Two rounds done. Six more to go. Uh, I'm forgetting how to count now with this fatigue. Uh, let's get ready. Round number three, starting now. Ooh. Shoulders on fire after those push-ups. Done. Three rounds done. Five more to go. Okay, just five more to go. Catch your breath. Ten seconds flies by. Let's move. Ay, ay, ay. Woo. Shoulders, shoulders, shoulders. Hang in there, my friend. Hang in there. Oh, and that's done. Four rounds done. Four more to go. Uh, there's four more rounds to go. I'm still sorry for my glutes, and now I'll start sorry for my shoulders. Let's go. Round number five. Make sure you're pushing your hips up all the way. Make sure you're pushing your hips up all the way. Keep that back straight. Done. Five done. Three more to go. Just three more to go. Get ready. Three, two, one. Round number six. Get that moin. Dr. Tabata, 
We are thinking of you a lot. And that's done. Two more rounds to go, guys. Just two more rounds to go. Okay? Let's just hang in there. Let's make sure we finish this strong. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Last two rounds, it's always brutal. It's always brutal. And done. One last round. One last round. Stay with me. Yeah, we shall suffer together. Let's go. Last one. Ah, almost there. Let's finish this. Ooh, and that's done. Brilliant work, guys. That was tough. Are we done? No, we are not. Uh, now we have one last barter before we say we're done. Uh, I can see myself steaming right now. Uh, before we go to the last Tabata, I'm going to grab myself a quick sip of water. The last one's going to be bicycle crunches. That's it. Uh, before we go to stretches. Ready for this? Yeah? No choice. Okay. Let's finish this strong. Now lie down. Your bicycle crunches. Make sure your shoulders are off the floor. Press your lower back into the floor. From there, Opposite. I want you to really focus on rotating the upper body. Clear? Uh, let's start this. Let's finish this nice and strong. Three, two, and one. Let's go. You don't need to go too fast, okay? I really want you to focus on lifting that shoulder and rotating. Bring in that rotation. Extend the opposite leg out. And that's done. Round one done, seven more to go. It's your last one, yeah, we have nothing after this. So make sure you give it your best. Let's go, round two. What was your best for each round? That's what I mean. Oh. And that's done, round two done. Six more to go. I'm not even thinking of getting up, looking at you all. I'm just going to lie down right here and just turn. Saving some energy. Okay, round number three. Let's go. Ooh. Almost there. Almost there. That's done. Round three done. Five more to go. Just five more. Uh, stay with me. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Woo. Ah, I'm going to shake that off. And that's done. Round four done. Four more to go. Uh, last four. Stay with me. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh. Round number five is when, round number four and five is when it really starts to hit us. And that's done. Five done. Three more to go. Uh, last three before we say we're done. Let's begin in three, two, one, go. Woo. Come on, we got this. This is round number six at the moment. Finishing off round number six. And that's done. Last two rounds. Last two rounds. Hey. 
The program name is Stone Dabs for season two. So we got to work on that more. Three, two, one, let's go. Round number seven. Woo. Shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Let's move. That was me talking to me. Okay. Once again, let's go. Oh, last song, guys. We're done now. One last round and we finish. Okay. We should talk about the challenge and all after that. Let's go. Last round. Ay, 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 ay. Finish this. We got this. We got this. And we are done. I'm going to admire the sky for a few seconds. I don't know what it is for you all. With your ceiling, your fan, whatever it is. Admire it for a few seconds because I need those few seconds before I get up. Ah, superb work, guys. You guys are brilliant. Uh, Tabatas through and through is no joke at all. Uh, excellent work. Excellent. Yes. Did we suffer? Did I suffer with you all? 100%. Yeah. I was suffering through and through with you all because it's not easy. Each Tabata brings in a challenge and we go to the next one. That's another challenge. On that note, let's jump into our stretches. If you guys want to have a quick sip of water, do that. Our first stretch is going to be the kneeling quad stretch with the twist. Uh, so let's come down to position. Okay, now ensure that you're first turning the hip in, pushing it forward, feel that light stretch on the hip flexor, then we add that onto the quads, okay? By grabbing the ankle in the back. Now, whichever leg is back, the same hand is going to go down and we're going to twist. Hold, 20 seconds. Option, if you're struggling over here, please make sure that you just stand up and do your quadricep stretch. Don't miss on the stretch. You're going to be holding each stretch for 20 seconds. Slowly release. Stay inside. Get that leg forward. Drive your hip forward first. Turn the hip in. Push it forward. Feel that stretch on the hip flexor. Add on to your quads. Oopsies. Uh, grab the ankle. Whichever leg is back, same hand comes forward. And add that twist. Brilliant work. Man, I'm going to be drinking that whole thing as soon as we're done. Water, water, water. Calling me. 20 seconds, guys. Just 20 seconds. Slowly release. Now, the next stretch is going to be our pigeon pose. Focus on those glutes for all the skater jumps and hay balers that we've done. Yeah. Lift the hips up first. From there, cross one leg in. Cross one leg in. Walk back with the back leg, getting your hips as close to the ground as possible. Option is to either stay up here or you can drop the upper body down and hands all the way forward. I'm going to stay here because I feel a deeper stretch and more focus on the glutes. Just breathe. Excellent work, guys. That was a great session three. Slowly. Come out of it. Let's switch leg now. Let's go the other side. And hold. Make sure you're getting that back leg. Taking it back as much as possible. Try to get your hips as close to the ground as possible depending on your flexibility. If your hips are not going down all the way, just stay where I am. Yeah, because I'm also still working on getting those hips low Open out the hips. That's one of my big weaknesses in terms of flexibility is the hip. Ah, it's done. Slowly come out of it. We'll just go to that mountain pose once more before we get up. Alright, from there, 
we're going to stand up. Your next stretch is going to be the standing IT band stretch. For that, we're going to cross the leg, feet flat, both your legs straight. The front leg, just bring it forward a little bit so there's some breathing space for the back knee. Okay? From there, drive your hips back as much as you can and reach down. Make sure both your legs are straight. Where are you going to be feeling this stretch? That's going to be on the outside of your back leg, all the way from your hips to your knee, on the outside part, the lateral part. That's where your IT band is, stabilizing your knee, helping stabilize your knee. Slowly come up. Chain side. Feet flat. Legs straight. Drive the hips back. Reach down. Keep pushing the hips back. Allowing the upper body to come down more. Slowly come up. The next thing we're going to do is tricep stretch for all those push-ups, presses kind of movement, all those push movements that we've done. Just make sure you're pulling your elbow in as much as you can. Feel that tricep length in. Change hand. Yeah, just one last stretch after this, okay? Just one last stretch. Breathe. Now slowly release. The last stretch is going to be the standing forward fold. That's focused on the entire posterior chain. Mainly the hamstrings. But we're going to feel this. Hands all the way up. Hands all the way up. Drive your hips back as much as you can. Slowly move forward, drop down, wherever you can, keep your legs straight and just pull yourself down, stay wherever is your maximum, every few seconds just try and pull yourself a little lower. Slowly bend the knee first and then come back up excellent work guys that's the end of session number three by the stream uh, excellent work now we're not gonna let you go without a challenge like I was speaking earlier about what you eat versus how much you burn yeah do not get into any of these fat diets yeah? eat local food if I have to say but just make sure it's all about portion control and a good balance on the plate and that's gonna be a challenge I want you all to take pictures. Yes, we did this in season one as well. I want you all to do it again. Start to take pictures of the food that you're having. Yeah, get the right portion on the plate. And also, don't forget, along with that, add that little workout that you've done. It could be just a photo of the workout. It could be your watch saying how many calories you burned today or the number of steps you've taken. Whatever it is, activity versus food going in. That's the pic I want you all to be posting for us as part of the challenge yeah don't forget to do that on that note i'm going to be signing off i think i'm going to go in jump in there now and get fresh thank you so much guys you have a great one i'll see you on the next session thank you For more workout videos, download the Cultfit app now. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, We Are Cults.